Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and to another video. I hope you guys had an amazing new year. We have finally beaten 2020. We are now in 2021 and I hope it's such a better year for everyone, that everyone achieves their goals and that coronavirus can sort of disappear into the background at some point. I know it's not going to happen straight away but we are a step closer with all these vaccines that everyone is creating so hopefully by the end of 2021 we can feel like we've actually achieved something and not lost our time because I really feel like last year I kind of lost my life just because I was out of a job for so long but anyway I thought I would start off this year and do my 2020 favourites. I'm going to do a favourite makeup which is today's video and then I'll also upload a video on my favourite skincare so if you want to see that don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Okay so I'm going to start from the bottom. I was going to do like my makeup while I do this but I seem to get off track very very quickly on things. So I thought I'd just sit down and talk through what I like, my favourite products from 2020. Some of these may be a repeat from 2019 but we will see. So I thought I'd start off with my sponges. Now my favourite sponge to apply my powder is my beauty blender. I love this. A damp beauty blender to apply powder under the eyes or all over the face just creates that seamless airbrushed look and this one looks a bit dishevelled. All of my brushes and makeup sponges kind of look a bit bad at the minute but this is amazing. I absolutely love this and just pressing this in underneath my eye does the best job in the world and because of that sharp point you can really get into the under eye area and also draw those sharp lines to create that perfect contour like nothing better this is the best for powder the best for foundation is this sunday ivy this is a microfiber sponge I am obsessed with this. I'm going to have to get another one of these because it is the best thing I've ever, ever, ever used to apply foundation. It blends things in so seamlessly. Like, I can look, like, disgusting. Like, I have loads of spots and everything and I literally use this and just blend concealer and foundation over those areas and my skin just looks airbrushed. Like, I don't look like this in real life. Honestly, lighting is everything in videos. But... I can say that I look better. Like I don't look like my normal self in real life when I have makeup on. I feel like I look similar to this. Just not exactly super airbrushed and looking super flawless. But this sponge has changed my life and I definitely, I think this is one of the best things I bought in 2020 if I'm being honest because it's actually changed my makeup game and I absolutely love it. So if we're starting from the base, I'm going to go in with a primer. This primer, I really enjoy using this primer and it's affordable. And that is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer, which just looks like this in this pot. I've had this for quite a while actually and I have barely even like scraped the surface. It is so nice and very smoothing and blurring, like especially around this area and in my T-zone. It doesn't make my makeup budge at all so that you can't see any of my pores or any blemishes in this area. Amazing, love this. I only started using this because I did want to buy the Tarte Poreless Primer, which is my all time favorite. It's just, it's expensive. And then you have to pay for shipping because we don't have Tarte over here. So when Tarte come over here, I'll probably repurchase it. But for the minute, I am really happy with using this and I do enjoy it. There are some other ones that I do so I might have to try them out. They do a green one I've seen, which cancels out the redness, which will be perfect because I usually go in with a concealer underneath foundation to cancel out redness before I go in with foundation. Talking about concealer, I have two favourite concealers from this year and I'm pretty sure this one is a favourite from 2019 as well. I'm not even too sure if I did a video for 2019, but we're doing one now. So my favourite concealer has to be, this is for my under eye and this is for carving out my eyebrows. So under eye concealer is the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in the shade Porcelain. I love this concealer. It is so, so nice and really good at coverage. Like I use this under like just to do my spots before I put any foundation on so I like to spot correct. And I love it. It is not as heavy as Tarte Shape Tape 
but it has the coverage which I love. Um, I don't use heart shape tape anymore because I was finding that I was really creasing under here. Like it's so heavy. I just, I didn't enjoy it. And I know that's, that sounds really bad because I, I used to promote it a lot. I used to use it so much. But then I started using like other concealers and I have to say there are some better concealers out there. This one, the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Vanilla. Oh my word. This would be my go-to for like a no makeup makeup day, I would definitely put this under my eyes and just do a bit of spot correcting. But I use this to carve out my eyebrows because it has got a really precise doe foot applicator and I just literally just go like that. I don't need another brush. Like I carve out my eyebrows with my concealer wand, which I don't know whether a lot of people do. I know a lot of people use brushes, which may be a bit better, but I just like the fact that I can just do this carve out and then just blend it out with my um, sponge and then it also works as a eyeshadow base as well because it's already on my eyelid so absolutely love this as for eyebrows as i was saying carving out your eyebrows with this you're going to need a good eyebrow product my favorite is definitely the anastasia dip brow pomade in the shade dark brown i have just ordered a new one of these because i have like hit the bottom of it but i absolutely love this like it gives me such nice eyebrows. When I first used it, I used to go really heavy handed with it and my eyebrows would look like blocks. But once you get used to it, you can really, as long as you don't put any product sort of like past here. So if you keep it, just put product here and then just slowly blend it into the, that end bit, it looks more like an ombre eyebrow. Whereas if you start here, it's very difficult to look like a natural eyebrow so i love this stuff it doesn't feel cakey i love this i also like their pencil as well but this has definitely helped me get through 2020 like my eyebrows do not move nothing comes off like look at that perfect absolutely perfect so now we have foundations and i have two favorite foundations that i have tried this year and i'm pretty sure one of them i had the year before as well so the first one is the nars natural radiant longwear foundation this is in santa fe this one's a little bit dark for me but i absolutely love this foundation like you wouldn't believe i am obsessed i haven't repurchased this because i'm kind of going through a stage of wanting to try some new foundations but this will always be in my collection i love this if you want that perfect glowy skin this this is what you need obviously i have quite matte skin I don't really know how to get glowy skin and make it look full coverage without going matte. So I'm trying to figure that out this year, but I do love this, it is gorgeous. It just looks like natural skin. Like when you put it on, you just look so healthy. You get that like healthy glow. I am really sorry. Most of these products are quite like on the more expensive side. I do want to this year try out some more drugstore makeup, but I just, I am a bit scarred by drugstore makeup because I used it for so many years and I always looked really orange. So hopefully this year I'll be able to give you some like drugstore favorites by the end of next year. But for the minute, absolutely love this. The next foundation that I have been loving and I am wearing today, that is the Laura Mercier Flawless Lumiere Foundation in the shade 2N1 Cashew. I like to give you guys the colours just so you can kind of see. Like this looks a lot darker in the bottle than it does on my skin. So if you're sort of my shade, then this will be the perfect match for you. I do find it's a little bit pink. I'm not too sure if that's my concealer, but I just love how this looks. It is similar to this one. This one's a little less full coverage. This one has a bit more coverage, I find. I have actually mixed these two together and it just creates that gorgeous, gorgeous makeup look. I am obsessed. As you guys know, I love my makeup. Like, it just makes me so happy. And to talk to you guys about my favourites, considering 2020 was such a rough year for everyone, it is nice to be able to take some good things out of it and show you my favourite products from last year. If you're looking for a good luminous foundation that's not too heavy on the skin, like it feels like your skin, like I don't feel like I'm wearing anything, this is a really good foundation to go for. And it's also really good for summer because it is so light, it doesn't feel like you're trapped under a layer of foundation. It feels 
breathable, which is so, so nice. So now we are on to powder and I don't think it would be a makeup favorite without this powder. And that is the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Oh my word, this is my favorite. You cannot go wrong with this powder. It just sets everything so nicely. It doesn't look cakey, it doesn't feel heavy. You still get that like skin-like glow coming through it. It's not dampening, it doesn't feel dry on my skin. I absolutely love this. And since I've been like using it a little less sort of, I used to cake my face in this stuff. But now I use it a bit more sparingly. This lasts me so long love this again on the more expensive side but because you don't need as much of it it's it kind of pays off so now we're going to go on to bronzer now this is a new one you guys would have seen on my channel i only uploaded it a couple of weeks ago and that is the charlotte tilbury airbrush bronzer in the shade medium oh my word look at that i'm wearing it today absolutely love it it looks golden it looks natural Obviously I do put quite a lot on, so it looks more bronze because that's what I love. But oh my word, absolutely love this and I love the packaging. Also love the fact that you can like push it out and just replace the pan and then you don't have to replace this whole compa like compartment. It doesn't smell, which is a real disappointment because it looks like it's just smell of chocolate and smell really nice. This is gonna be a very long video. I still have quite a few products to go through. But anyway, yes. I was gonna show you my favorite blush, but one, I've nearly finished them. And two, it was a Christmas palette from 2019. So, but I like the Laura Mercier blushes. I think they are gorgeous. I do have some NARS blushes coming in the post very, very soon, which will be going on my channel. So stay tuned for that definitely subscribe. I have so many videos planned for this year. So yeah, I am hoping to get back on track of everything. But I do really like this, but I can't really recommend it because you can't buy it. So I feel that's a bit bad. But my favourite eyeshadow palettes, especially for like a look like today, like a nude smoky eye, these. The Huda Beauty Nude Palettes. I have Medium and Rich and I love both of these. So I use these like joint because I feel like this one, it just doesn't go dark enough for me and it's not orangey enough. I quite like an orangey like undertone. So this has like the oranges, but then this one's quite red, whereas uh, Rich has like a red dark. So if you mix, the ones I got in my eyes today are this one, this one, and this one. And if you mix them all together, you get this gorgeous sort of orangey smoky eye, which I think is just so flattering on so many people. So if I was to recommend any palettes for you to buy, I'd recommend these two. And then they're so tiny, you can just slip them in your bag or travel with them. And you can create so many looks because you've got so many shades and they, they are just gorgeous. I would like to get the light one just because I really like the light sort of nearly white sort of base so that when you do a cut crease you can have that really white bright color I really really would like that one but just for one shade which is really bad my other like more sort of adventurous one that I had got this year is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Riviera palette and this one has some funky colors in it I love this hot pink. I haven't used it enough this year and I'd really like to get into my colorful eye looks again because I feel like I play it safe with the same sort of eye look every time. But yeah, this is definitely, definitely a go-to for me. I also like the packaging. I think it looks really nice. The only thing I find is it gets really dirty because it's like fabric-y. So my favorite eyeliner from this year, as you guys may or may not know, I never used to wear eyeliner until 2020 when I really got into wearing it. Um, especially if I didn't want to do an eyeshadow, it really just completes the look by making it look like you've actually done something with your eyes and not just wax the mascara on. And my favourite eyeliner is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Easy Glide Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. I love the applicator and it glides on so, so easily. So this is today's eyeliner. I'm still getting there with eyeliner. It's not perfect i think there's still room for improvement for everything like all my makeup i look back from years ago and i think oh my word that's awful but when i was actually there i thought i looked really good so obviously my makeup looks are going to evolve 
but yeah I love this liquid eyeliner if you have any other sort of liquid eyeliners that are kind of like this that you like please let me know comment below any other products you want to see me try or that are your favorite from 2020 I'd really like to hear and try out some new products I have ordered some new products that will be arriving soon that we can try out my favorite mascara and this has been my favorite for years is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I I would just keep repurchasing this, but I don't have any eyelashes on. I literally just have this mascara and I feel like it just opens up my eyes. That and this new eyelash curler that I got from my Birch Box. I love this, apart from the fact I pulled out one of my eyelashes today and it really hurt. Like I heard it ping, disgusting. But yeah, this two like combined, like curling your eyelashes makes such a difference to any like mascara that you're trying so if you're not too sure about mascara curl your eyelashes and then see because it's very difficult to get that lift without something to kind of help it's like trying to get curls without using a curling wand it's just not going to work and just putting like that curling mousse in it's not going to make straight hair curly like my mum keeps asking me if i've straightened my hair this is my hair literally just blow dries so yeah it's it's a bit like that you need something to start that lift and then this kind of sets it in place a bit like hairspray if you think of it like that but yeah this is my favorite i will definitely be linking all of these products down below for you guys so you can go and check everything out so finally we are on to my favorite lip combo and it's the one that i'm wearing today and it is three products which i never thought i'd be that person i always used to just put one lipstick on but I've finally come to the realisation that I need some dimension to these lips. I can't just sort of whack one colour on. Sometimes I need something more. So my favourite lip liner is the Huda Beauty Lip Contour. And this is in the shade, I think this is Spice Girl. Yes, Spice Girl. It's this gorgeous sort of deep reddy brownie colour. And I just use that to line my lips. And then I go in with the Huda Beauty. Again, love these lipsticks. This is the Liquid Matte in the shade Flirt, which is this gorgeous nudie colour. It's not my perfect nude. I'd prefer something a little lighter, if I'm being honest. I feel like this year I'm going to really try and find that perfect, perfect nude for myself because I've been trying for years to find it. But then I just put on a bit of NYX Lip Lingerie. This is in the shade Silk Indulgent, and it's this gorgeous pinky colour. And all I do is I just put it in the middle, and then I tap it out with my finger, and it creates this perfect, like, ombre effect. And then you just rub your lips together, and you're good to go. Because all this is matte, it's very easy. I do sometimes put a gloss on, but it's not my favourite gloss. It's a bit too sticky for my liking. They are my favourite go-to lip products. Like, if I'm doing any look, usually this would be the combo that I will use. I do want to try some other ones. I have, like, a whole drawer of lipsticks, and I use three. It's crazy. I need to use a bit more. So, now we're on to brushes. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills 14 brush. It has a spoolie on the end. And it usually has a tapered one this end, but it's a bit manky at the minute. My favourite highlighting brush is a Morphe brush. I don't know what number it is because it's all worn off. But it's like this really big fluffy brush. And it just creates that perfect, you can kind of buff it all out. And it creates like a more natural highlight. Then we have, I am sad that I am putting these in a video because... They are extortionate and I don't know why I bought them. Like I love them and I feel guilty that I love them because they cost £350. That They are my Scott Barnes brushes. I love these brushes and I feel so sad because one day I'd like to have my own makeup company and I definitely want to make brushes this quality but for half the price. Um, I don't know whether that's possible because obviously there is a reason they're that expensive. This bronzer brush, oh my word, it is incredible for bronzer, contour, it makes everything look so smooth and you can also do circular motions with it and it doesn't really rub out underneath your makeup and I love this. This is the Scott Barnes 65 brush. If I was going to get one brush, this would be the brush I get it would be just this one. And maybe this year I'll be doing a few giveaways, so I might 
put one of these in one of those giveaways depending on how the year goes but yeah this this would be my go-to i i do love this brush because it works with any product it doesn't matter if you have a cheap or expensive product i used to use the rimmel bronzer and it used to work with that as well and used to make my contour or my bronzer look really bomb so yeah this would be my go-to we then have this giant fluffy brush which i think is a little expensive for what it is it is gorgeous and it is a really good quality brush and it's really smooth i'm trying to justify the reason why i'm putting this in this video because it is my favorite and i do use it every day but then i also don't want to sound like a snob you don't need these brushes to have good makeup i just have them because i'm spoiled i'm gonna put it out there i am spoiled um and yeah that that is why i have these brushes you don't need them to have good makeup and then you have this blusher brush which again gorgeous i would also use this for contour to be honest um but i use it more for blush and scott buns also use it for under the eye because this is for the blush i'm not going to put it anywhere near my under eye because i will end up with pink under eyes the last product that i love from 2020 is the scott buns 62 brush and this is the perfect brush for just blending out those edges of eyeshadow like it is so good i wouldn't say it's a very like compact brush to like pack on color but if you want to diffuse the edges of anything this is the brush to get again really really expensive but i love it i also use it to sort of do under here if i have any bronzer and also to diffuse down my nose i love it i haven't actually spoken about highlighter oh my word how have i missed it this is my favourite go-to highlighter. This is the MAC Soft and Gentle Mineralized Skin Finish. And it is gorgeous. So I use this with this brush. And I'm just going to highlight the hell out of my cheeks and my face. And it just looks sort of natural. It blends in with everything. Like you can't really go wrong with this with this highlighter. And they do so many different shades of this highlighter. But yeah, this is another one of my favourite products from 2020. That's insane. I have so many favourites and I'm that that isn't even half my collection. So these products are really, really good and I really love using them. And I will continue to use them next year and hopefully try some different ones as well because that would be nice to kind of end next year with some different products on this favourites video. Okay, guys, so that is the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed seeing my favourite products and me sort of talking about them. I don't know whether it was that interesting for you guys, but I love it. And I love showing you guys what makeup products I am obsessed with at the minute. And I really hope it kind of helps you because it's really difficult out there at the minute because there are so many products on the market. How do you choose which one to start with? And if you're going into more expensive makeup, I would definitely say start with a good foundation because a good foundation is the basis to any like makeup look if you have good like more expensive top products like a bronzer highlighter blush if you have a bad foundation or bad primer nothing's going to fix that until you fix the foundation that isn't working for you at that moment so yeah i would definitely start with a foundation before you go on to any other products because it can make your drugstore products look so much better because that's where i started i started with a more expensive foundation and i've slowly built up my collection but yeah i hope you guys have enjoyed today's video if you have don't forget to give it a big thumbs up down below subscribe to my channel so you don't miss this year's uploads and also so you don't miss my 2020 favorite skincare products video which i will be putting out very very soon for you guys because i have so many skincare products i love using and my skin is looking a hell of a lot better if i do say so myself but yeah i hope you guys have an amazing day and i hope your 2021 starts off with a bang and you feel good about yourself and don't punish yourself too much we're all going through a tough time at the minute but if you need anything please comment below and i'll reply to you and um, i like to talk to you guys and it's nice to have some interaction from everyone that watches so if you need anything or just want someone to talk to comment below and i will reply but i hope you guys have a lovely day or a lovely evening and i will see you in my next video bye guys